How are you? We're doing good. We are good. We got Marky Hageman right here on the line. How are you doing today? I'm great. Thank you for asking. Oh, we just want to find out. what what part of the country are you hiding in right now? Where are you at? Right now, I am in Auburn, Alabama. Alabama. What's going on there? Um. Well, right now, not a lot. Um, we. I actually uh, live here with with my mom and my stepdad, and we are all from California, so we're still getting used to the weather here. <laughs> Oh yeah, there's no no sunny no <laughs> sunny beaches in Alabama. No, no, I mean at least nothing you know that we've been to yet. So, from California to Alabama, I guess there, there a lot of people are surprised that there are cows in California. <laughs> you have no idea. That is that is everything I've been facing since I've moved to Alabama is having to tell people that where I'm from in California is one of the top agricultural areas in the world. And so, you know, we had cattle, we had row crops, we had everything there. I grew up all around it. And then I come here and people are surprised that people are like, wow, you're, you're a cowgirl from California. I figured <laughs> you would know how to surf and, you know, say dude all the time. So <laughs> it's, it's interesting. <laughs> It it's gotta be it's gotta be a different it's gotta be like a night night and day type deal right there so that's pretty good. so so tell us tell us about California what would you do out there did you do you, you raise some cows you show cows or, or what happened out there actually no um I grew up and I grew up riding horses and um, I started showing horses in high school I did a few rodeo queen contests and um, I did barrel racing growing up. We lived on, I mean, I lived on a dairy when I was small. Um, I lived in Orange Grove, and we, for a, a while, I actually lived at a boarding stable where I showed, um, uh, I kept my show animals there, and I showed hogs and, and lambs. So I didn't have any um, cattle when I was when I was young, except for um, the, the, the steers that we roped and stuff. Okay, so you rope so too. It wasn't until I, sorry, what? So do you rope? You rope too? I'm not competitively. It was just more backyard fun. I don't. I don't. Um, I'm not fast enough. Well, you, well, 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 you can catch one if they get out, right? Yes. Yeah. That's all that matters. That's that's it. That's all you gotta do. Everybody worries about roping in the pen, and that's what that's that's what they always tell me about rope. And I said, look, I I can chase him for about thirty minutes. He'll get tired, and I catch him every time. Yeah, there you go. Exactly. <laughs> so, so what what is CattleCon? I've I've been watching it on the uh, on the Twitterverse uh, for a couple of weeks here, and it pops up on a I guess on Wednesday every every week, and or, or the week that I've caught it, and, and I keep seeing this CattleCon 18, and so we're just trying to figure out what it is, what it's about, where it is, and what's going on with that. Well, CattleCon is technically the cattle industry convention. And that's also the um, NCBA trade show. And it's a huge event. I like to personally refer to it as like, the NFR of the cattle industry, um, just because it's probably the biggest event in the beef industry uh, every year. And so what it is is it's just a huge uh, convention where producers and just, you know, beef enthusiasts alike can come and network with um, other producers and, and companies that are in the beef industry. And so this year is actually the 121st um, convention, and it is held this year in Phoenix, Arizona at the convention center. And it's from January 31st through February 2nd. And what goes on there are different meetings um, where people can kind of discuss policy and issues that are current to the industry to, you know, try to improve that for the association and, and for the industry as well. Um, but also it has different things like it has the Cattlemen's College. I don't know if you've heard about that, but it is their sessions throughout those few days of the convention and producers and people get to go and sit in and learn about new technologies, you know, regarding genetics or um, even just 
uh, like, you know, policy, and it kind of just helps them go back home and, and improve their operations. So there are things that go on throughout the you know, that week that, you know, really just you can take back to your farm and, and implement them. So it's kind of a neat place because it's not just a social event. It's actually an educational event. Okay. And, and uh, I guess they've got speakers uh, speakers that, that come out and, and, uh, and talk to folks. What, what industries or what areas of speakers do you normally come out to uh, speak to the people? Well, like this year, um, and I should admit, this is my first year attending. So um, all the past events, you know, I can't really say, you know, specifically what speakers because I haven't attended. Um, but this year we have Ree Drummond, who she's the pioneer woman. Um, she's going to be the speaker at the general session. And um, she and her husband, they run an operation in Oklahoma, I believe. So, you know, they're producers. And um, then we're also going to have Jim Abbott, who was an MLB um, pitcher back in the day, I suppose. But he's going to be speaking, too. And, you know, he's not, he's not in the industry. He's just going to be there kind of um, pumping us up with a motivational speech. So it, we kind of pull people from, from all, all aspects of life, I guess, um, you know, because we can all kind of relate to each other. So it'll be, it'll be cool to see what, what they have to say. Well, it sounds sounds interesting. Sounds a good a good thing to do. Now, where's where's this going to take place at? This is uh, it's the Phoenix Convention Center in Phoenix, Arizona. So that's downtown, um, and and like I said, it's the January thirty first through February second, two thousand eighteen. All right. So if somebody was looking to figure out some information or what all was going on during that time. Uh, what would be the website direction to send them? Um, so they can go to the National Cattlemen's Beef Association website, and there will be a tab that should say convention and um, trade show. And when they click on that, that'll take them to the convention website, which that lists anything and everything. Um, we will we actually will be giving um, scholarships a way to uh, industry members uh, who, you know, can't really, can't really afford the cost. Um, and so on the convention website, there will be a tab for that so they can search that up. There's also a tab where they can look up all the exhibitors and a list of all of the um, trade show exhibitors. And then there will also be the schedule of events. So everything that they need to know about that event is on the convention website. So like I said, just National Cattlemen's Beef Association website and then um, convention and events tab, and then that will take them to the convention okay. um, page. All right. We'll, we'll do that. We'll send them away. Uh, what, what else do you have going on? What do you got? You got anything in the works you want to tell the people about? Well, actually, so I'm the Region 2 NCBA Marketing Ambassador for the convention. So what that entails is obviously I'm, I'm marketing and promoting the event throughout all of my social media pages. Um, with that, I actually have discounts for registration. So if someone uses my code, they can get um, a discount for the full registration, which includes the trade show and convention and everything, or they can get um, a smaller discount for the trade show only registration. So. If people want to follow me on any social media where you know, it's my name, Marky Hageman, on everything, um, they can message me and get those discounts because I know, you know, it can be pricey and everything, so it, it helps to be able to at least get some money off of that. Um, otherwise, I've just been, um, I'm an ag business student, so I, I kind of am really preoccupied with school and, um, I'm also, you know, I write, I have my own blog, um, which is on all of my social media as well. So I just kind of do that stuff on the side and, um, you know, just kind of keep myself busy with NCBA. Okay. All right. We'll do that. We'll throw it up there. We threw it up there a couple of times. Uh, the Twitter handle and the Twitterverse, so they can get out there and, and check that out and look it up and see what you're up to, what you're writing about, and find out how to get that code for the uh, cattle convention. Yes, and um, you know we have every couple of weeks we have Twitter chats, just like the one you participated in last night. 
And so um, in a couple weeks, we'll have our next one. And um, I don't actually I don't remember the specific topic on that one, but you know if they tune in, um, they'll be able to kind of participate and learn about the the convention. So last night was a great Twitter chat. You know we kind of got to experience what all the women in you know the cattlemen's world think. So it was kind of a nice learning opportunity. It's all, always good. Always good information. Always stuff to find out on the. Uh Hit your web net with that. Well, I tell you what, uh, Marky, yeah. we'll let you get back to it. We won't hold you up any longer. And uh, we appreciate you visiting with us and filling us in on what the Cattle Con is all about and uh, letting the folks yeah. know about that. And we appreciate that. And we'll probably have you on again at some point just to talk about stuff.